what I realized, and another way that I'm reducing the failure rate is when the next crash happens, which is inevitable, it's gonna happen, I'm spreading this message of what I learned through the crash, which is closings happen every single day, regardless of what the market does. No market condition can take away the fact that closings happen every day. What's up, everybody? Ricky Cream here. I'm at the Hyperpass Agent Summit. All right, the energy is actually crazy insane. This is super legit. <laughs> Dude. Hey, nice to meet you. So I've been following you for a little bit uh, yeah. and, and everything. I love the stuff that you do. Yeah, you're doing great things. Bro. Yeah, man. I'm trying. I started cold calling my wife also doing this just because of you. Just yeah. Because it feels so simple. Right. Like, right, listen, right. I'm not asking for any sale. Like, how yeah. can I help you? Yeah. Walk up, walk out. Song comes on. That's when you head up on stage. Okay. Is a superstar solo agent working on his own, aided by only a part-time assistant. Ricky Caru. Hey, if you're excited to be here, make some noise. It's about the people, the relationship. Because I realized if I would have maintained those relationships through the crash and helped them through the crash, I would have sold them property. They were still buying and selling at the bottom. Selling bad assets, buying new, good assets. It doesn't matter what the market is doing. I learned that business is unlimited completely unlimited. Competition doesn't exist. Forget competition. How many people are you going to talk to today? How many people are you going to connect with today? How much effort are you going to put in today? What's up guys? Ricky, you're the man, man. I hope that they walk away with the fact that like competition doesn't exist and that they can truly succeed if they really want to and that this business is so simple. Agents are going to come in here uh, we're just going to add, they're going to ask me questions for about an hour before I hop on a plane but uh, man that speech that was probably the most energy I've had on stage yet. Do you see a crack and you see like a Who cares? I'm just asking. <laughs> Have you seen my coaching program and scripts and stuff? Holy smokes. Uh, it's all right there. There's videos of me making calls, phone scripts, everything right there. Zeroedomy.com. It's all there. Free. I'm not worried. I'm not sitting around worried about how to sell this listing or if this deal's not going to work out or if they like me or what they think about me. I'm just not worried about anything. So it puts me in a state where now I'm, I'm mentally freed up where I can go get more. See what I mean? I'm not worried about the 20 deals under contract, the 40 listings I have. I'm worried about who am I going to help now? Those people are helped. They're, that's done. See what I mean? How do you service all that? Not much to service. The buyer wants to buy, the seller wants to sell. You negotiate it, you call about the inspection report, the buyer wants to get some repairs, if you want to do them, no, okay, screw you buyer. You know, it takes five minutes to go through your, you know, under contracts and pendings. If you have 20 deals under contract, it takes you all morning, that's okay. You know what I mean? You got 20 deals under contract. See what I mean? The problem is you got one or two under contract and then you're letting that take up the same amount of time that I use on 20 deals under contract because I'm not worried about if they're gonna sell, when they're gonna sell, who, what they think about me. See what I mean? I'm a real estate agent that helps people buy and sell properties. See, that, see that's part of the problem, I think, with a lot of agents. Okay. They get a listing and then they try to figure out how to sell it. It's like, just let it sell. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, let's go get more listings and help more people. We've already had the conversation with that seller of like, what price, why they want to sell, what their motivations are. We've already made the, we've already made the game plan for this seller. Okay, now the market is the market. We can't control the market at that point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so we got to let we just got to let the market do its thing. See, we don't we don't have any control of when that listing is going to sell. You know what I'm saying? We don't control that. We can only control what we can control. What am I going to control? Going to help more people. I've already helped him. I told him what the market was. He made a decision on what he wanted to do based on the information I gave him and the, and the advice I wanted to give him as a professional agent. And then he made a decision on what he wanted to do. That's done. That deal is done. 
Now it's time to go help somebody else and forget about that one. Let it happen when it happens. You know what I mean? Tell us something, especially being a new agent, at all the coaches, all the crawlers, they're like, we're gonna tell you this, you're gonna be successful. Because I want, because I genuinely want you to succeed. That's why. Every, we, all, we all only have the same amount of, of hours in a day. You know, like you have the same amount of hours as I do, right? As Brian Serhant, as you know, Grant Cardone, as Danny Carey. We all got the same amount of hours in a day. You know what I mean? And when you think about that, it's like, well, you know, I can talk to more people than anybody else in, in this. We all have the same amount of time. I'm gonna beat everybody in terms of how many people I'm gonna talk to. The daily routines are literally why I'm where I'm at. And the 4.30 was an addition to what I was already doing. I was like, where can I find another hour to produce? And I was like, oh, well, nobody's bothering me at 4.30. So I decided that was gonna be my extra hour to outwork everybody. And that's what's gonna take me to even higher levels. You can't sit here and tell me that, you know, I can't grow, Ricky, and all I'm doing is talking to one or two clients a day. I mean, just the numbers don't add up, right? So what you need to do is control your business. Don't let it control you. So when someone wants to talk to you for a while, that's fine. Now you know they're a talker, a little talky too. Now what we're gonna do is, is when we're supposed to make our calls the next day and we see their, their call coming in on the caller ID, delete, deny, and we'll call them back when we get through. We'll, so we'll start time blocking those 30 minute conversations of the talky twos. You see what I'm saying? Start controlling your business. Don't let your business control you. The days that you have that people are just, you know, mean, you say, or ignorant to you with that, and you have to, you know, I know you, I mean, what do you do with your mindset with that? Like, cause you can have a day like full of that. Try again tomorrow. And then go on the next day, you know. Try again tomorrow. Okay. I might finish my call session and say, you know, it didn't go great, whatever. The thing is, is I don't care about the results. I just want to make the calls. I don't care. If, a hundred people hang up on me. Because I know tomorrow, five people are gonna do a deal with you. Okay. I don't care about okay. the results. I just want to do the work. See what I mean? Gotcha. Um, but I know where you're going with it. The thing is, you need to get a lot of sleep, drink a lot of water, shut your mind off at night so you're recharged every day so you don't have those down moments. But then, if you do have a bad call session, just chalk it up. If you're gonna do it every day, one bad call session out of 30, is is normal you know like be really happy that you had a bad call session because we got that one out of the way now we can have a bunch of good ones you know what i'm saying you know my team i'm a single agent but my team consists of a title company that i've used for 10 years a mortgage guy i've used for 10 years you know what i mean like I have a, a professional photographer, I have a handyman that knocks out all the inspection items and stuff. Like I have, everything is just like, boom, it's just so easy. You know what I mean? And I think, uh, I think that, you know, that's a tough question when you're starting out and you don't have the infrastructure in place, that could be an interesting debate. But as far as me. Because I've seen it now, I'm in real estate in New York City. I see a lot of wealthy people, they're moving from New York to Florida because of taxes. So these are high net worth people that started their business in New York hey, and are doing it. The thing is, when they did that tax for people that own property five million and, and higher, um, the thing is, that's an opportunity. Network with agents in Florida, make it happen. Start sending referrals from people that want you know, start cold calling people and say, hey, did you hear about the tax? Start cold calling people that have properties over five million dollars and say, hey, you wanna move to Florida? I got an agent for you down there, see what I'm saying? help us succeed because the failure rate is super high. We all know that getting a real estate license is super easy. Yeah. What is your two what are your two cents on education over experience? Because I'll tell you, you have this to be balanced. You so have to find my the question balance. is when do you start prospecting and telling a buyer or seller that you are a professional when you just did a 40 hour day one. Day one. Okay. Day negative one. Call your sphere before you get your license and say, hey, I'm getting into real estate. Do you have an agent you're gonna use if you ever do anything? I'm not, I don't care if you buy or sell. I'm not trying to get you to buy or sell anything. I'm just wondering if you have an agent. And if not, give me all your contact information. I'm gonna stay in touch. Build your database before you even get your license. As soon as you get your license, 
start calling for sale by owners, expires, circle prospecting, posting everywhere. Like you start the process immediately and then you learn as you go, mm -hmm. right? But a lot of people go to these seminars and never sell a house. They go to every seminar in the world and they never sell a single property. Don't be one of those people, okay? What we wanna do is get the education that we need to get to a certain point. That's why I try to make my presentation very simple. We just talk to people, we have the best intentions, and we build a brand. That's it. It's not super complicated. Now, you guys never need to go to another seminar ever again in your life. Just go do what I said. See what I mean? And that's how I was. I went to a couple and I realized this early on. I never went to another seminar ever. I'm too busy trying to work. I'm too big. I have to leave work where I'm trying to sell stuff to make money and I have deals going on to go to a seminar to learn stuff that I already know. Maybe you'll pick up something. I don't need anything else. I'm trying to close these deals and make more. See what I'm saying? Has this been a good breakout session or what? Yeah. One, two,